Hello, and welcome to Gas and Spotlight. I'm your host, Mary Grace Douthit. Today on the show, we have a former graduate of the broadcasting program, Cam Alfaro. Thanks for being on the show, Cam. Thank you. So to start off, you run a radio station. So tell me how you got into the radio business. So almost 20 years ago, um, when we came to America with my parents, with my family, um, one of the things we started was a radio program that my parents did. It was called uh, Universidad de la Familia, of course in Spanish. <laughs> uh, and back then, it was an actual local station here in Charlotte, 980 AM, um, and they did a program from five o'clock in the morning till like 11 o'clock in the morning. And the person who was running the board was me, even though I was like eight. <laughs> but I was, I was running the board and I, one, I think one day I just realized that I really liked doing it. Mm -hmm. It was really cool that That's a lot a of people start were listening. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the be... people were just listening out there. Yeah. Um, so eventually they, that program became very popular and it was being heard worldwide. And so they started buying back in the day, like little setups and, mm -hmm. and, and stuff at home. Yeah. And that's when uh, Radio Genesis came around uh, oh. almost um, 16 years ago uh, that we launched it. And it was one of the first radio stations on air through the internet, which was really weird uh, to know that like worldwide people were listening. And then when people yeah. started writing, it was it was very uh, different. But that, that's exactly how I started my, my start in there. And, um, and then eventually I came to, to Gaston College right. and started studying it. Yeah, so um, what made you want to come to the broadcasting program? Was it just having that background or you wanted a future in it? I did want a future in it and I knew that I had it have a degree of course and I wanted to get better um, but one of the I think one of the struggles uh, for me was that of course I wanted to stick on the Spanish side right. um, however now that I'm in a TV world and radio world I do realize that both are good right, right. <laughs> just like you know knowing Spanish and English or whatever it's, yeah. it's really good for you um, so now it's a, it's a little bit different back in the day when I did first start in Gaston College it was like you know I only want to do Spanish Spanish is the only thing I want to do uh, but now I realize that having two that it's two, helpful to have yeah, both and definitely. play off of each other yeah definitely yeah um so you have a job at wccb right now tell me about that so i started at wccb 2016 uh as a part-time pa uh running camera and um it, it was it was awesome it was awesome <laughs> was it? <laughs> yeah it was it was really cool to know that a lot of people were watching the news and mm -hmm. really what we what we're doing here uh, and what we what I used to do here is kind of the same same thing. It's mm -hmm. just a little bit bigger. But working really, on a team, working yeah, with cameras. Yeah, same setup, but just a little bit bigger. Um, and then eventually, I got moved. I'm trying to think because it's it, when you work in TV, you feel. I, and Miss Carmody can confirm this. I've only been working there three years, and it feels like I've been working there 18 years. <laughs> You're just like same, just like same day. Yeah, because it gets repetitive, but but. Uh, I think after I was on, on the floor, um, I got moved into graphics. Mm -hmm. uh, it started training in graphics, and then now I'm in mass control. Uh, so we run three stations out of there, uh, making sure that it's on air and um, all the shows are in and stuff like that. Uh, and TV in the past three years has changed a lot, yeah. um, where now all the TV stations are coming together. Uh, and so what used to be like a person on camera used to do just camera. Now a person is just doing graphics, master control. Oh, yeah. so they split it up more to have more specialized. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. People are doing more, and that's that's kind of like the advice I would give people that are if they're looking into get into the TV broadcasting world is just to learn everything. Learn a little bit of everything so yeah. you can specialize, and they yeah. can move you around when you work. Definitely, because if you if you say, well, I only want to do video camera work. Well, when you get in, if you do want to get into the TV broadcasting world, you are going to be last in the list. <laughs> Because you don't, that you makes don't, a lot of sense. Yeah, you yeah. don't know a lot, um, and I think that's one of the the great things that I kind of did was just like try to learn as much as I could. Yeah. Um, even when I was not here at, at school, um, I always joke around with just like dabbling with different things. Well, the funny thing is, like, I don't know if you've looked up for a tutorial like online, mm. and then like this eight year old in India yeah. is teaching you how to edit. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, how does this kid? Know yeah, that? yeah. So, so I on the side, I was trying to learn Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere all the other programs right. that I could, even though some some of them I couldn't master, at least I knew a little bit about it, that right. if I got into TV, um, I could I could. And be And that's good a great thing it. you could put on like your right. resume, even right. if you are not master at it, you'll right. still be ahead of other people. And the thing is, they'll ask you, when you go to a TV job, they'll be like, well, do you know these programs? And if you don't, they'll be like, oh, okay, well, we'll call yeah. you. Yeah. 
Um, so along with that, you also do video freelance work. Like, what is that about? Yeah, so when I was here, um, it was when, when DSLRs got really popular for weddings and stuff like that. Um, and I kind of started also messing with, with a DSLR. I bought a DSLR and um, I think Garen did too at that same moment, a uh, former student here too. And we just started working together with the with the practice we were getting here we started getting weddings uh you know all different kind of shoots and you're getting paid for that right yeah we were yeah <laughs> that's and, awesome uh, yeah it, and i still do it but however since i'm so busy in the tv mm -hmm. industry now like it's not as um it's not, I can't do it as much. Right, it takes yeah. a back seat. Yeah, because, you know, it, it, it takes a lot to do a wedding. Oh, um, yeah, it's a lot of planning, a lot it. of yeah. time management with yeah. the with the uh, people in the yeah. wedding. Yeah, but it, but um, it's really it's really fun. It's really fun doing weddings and just, like, family shoots, all yeah. that kind of stuff. It's awesome. Um, so what advice do you have for people in the broadcasting world? Like, from your experience, from growing up with like a radio station just always being present, what advice do you have like for people who didn't have that, like who might not have that background? One would be like what I just said was just try to learn as much as, as you can before you even knock on the door at a radio or a television station. Mm -hmm. uh, learn as much, as much as you can. Um, because they'll eat you up if you don't. Like, I mean, they, they'll they either not even give you the job or, or just just not bring you in at all. Um, and then two, we just have patience. Um, as when I was a PA, it felt like there was a lot of downtime, and there, and there is. Um, and, and I just felt like I was prepared for my next thing. Okay, what's next? But now that I understand, I do agree that you just gotta have patience and patience and right. patience to, to see that they're testing the waters in you and just to like see what, right, what they seeing can. Right, what kind of worker yeah. you are. Like. Yeah, well, and, and they'll, they'll test your patience too, just to see, <laughs> does this person have patience? Um, yeah. And does he, does he have what it takes um, right. to Can to he work on. with a team? Yeah. Like, can he do the equipment? Does he right. know what he put on his resume? Yeah, like, th is this true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you also won Radio Host of the Year yeah. in Latin, in the like Latin category for a radio? Yeah, so what what took me there was that when I was here at Gaston, I always come back here, um, I had a syndicated radio show from uh, 6 a.m. till I think it was 10 a.m. Um, so I was literally waking up, doing the radio show, then coming here. Um, and I, I was from North Carolina, no, from Virginia to South Carolina and then parts of Florida. Um, that program took off was a lot. That like Oh, like weekly or like? Yeah, that was every day. Yeah, that was every a Monday. Day. That was a Monday through Friday show. Yeah. Wow, um, that's yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, it was. Miss <laughs> um, Carmody, that's why I was late to class. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a perfect excuse, honestly. Um, I'm making my way in the broadcasting world. Okay, yeah. I can be late. <laughs> so that 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 show was what uh, took me to one that to win that that award and the um, and the Radio Latin Awards. Yeah, it, it was pretty fun. So um, being in the radio business, what are some like challenges or difficulties in specific areas that you have dealt with? Starting off, I think just the fact that sometimes people don't take you serious when you're first starting. Mm -hmm. They just see you as like a nobody. Right. Or like, you know, this or person. Or like you're a PA, right? Yeah, so, right, right, right. Yeah. Like you, they won't make it. Um, I think that's one of the hardest things to prove to them that you are who you are and you want to be part of this. Um, and like, again, like I said, it's just patience uh, and then hard work to get up um, to the next level. Um, and then just picking up slack uh, from other people. Like people don't want to do right, the like hard work. Right, like taking initiative and... Yeah. Yeah. And like doing the things that you see that need to be done without being right, asked. Right. Yeah. And and I think that's one of the things that has helped me is just, okay, this person is not doing it, then I'm going to do it. Uh, and then eventually people see, okay, well, this person's doing it, let's just give it to them. Right. Let's give them more yeah. responsibility and opportunities yeah. and stuff. Yeah, for that sure. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right. So I think that seems to be all the time we have today for this interview. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And what was the name of your radio station for? Radio Genesis. Radio Genesis yes. in Cherville. So. That's it today for Gas and Spotlight.